Bryce, what's going on? My name is Spencer. And I'm Bryce. And on behalf of the Santiago students, we'll be having a lockdown drill. We have an important message from Mr. Bond on what to do and how to stay safe. Safety is our number one priority. Please take this serious to be prepared for anything that happens on campus. We need to unite as one and come together. Go, Go Sharks! Sharks. Hello Santiago students, today we want to talk about some things to help prepare us for possible emergency situations here on campus. One of those things we're going to talk about is uh, the possibility of a lockdown and what to do in the event that we do have a lockdown on campus. The simple definition for a lockdown is uh, a situation where the interior and exterior doors are locked, all students and staff must remain in that location until the lockdown is over or authorities move or relocate them. So. Why do we do lockdown drills? To prepare for emergency situations. On a lockdown, an announcement will be given over the PA system. Like lockdown, lockdown, and then we'll give you the reason for it, possibly like an intruder. Students and staff currently in a classroom in a secure location stay in that place. Students outside of the classroom or building should go directly to the closest classroom or secure location. Administrators or staff members should assist students to locations. Outdoor classes that cannot quickly enter a nearby classroom should proceed to an evacuation area. Lock all classroom doors. Move away from windows and doors and all people should sit on the floor, turn off the lights and barricade the door if necessary. Staff members should take attendance and make a separate note of students who are normally in the class. The biggest key is to stay out of sight. Do not open the door until you hear the announcement of all clear or an authorized person comes to the door. Most of the time, an authorized person will have keys that will be able to open the door on their own. If directed by authorities to move, remember to move quietly and quickly. There are several things that would cause us to go into a lockdown. Environmental or physical dangers outside of the school campus, for example, a chemical spill or an off-campus fire, or possible police activity. But the one situation that has been more prevalent in the news lately has been the active shooter on campus. We all have three options when faced with an intruder on campus. The first is to run, move quickly to a secure location. The second would be to hide and make yourself as invisible as possible to any possible intruders. And the final one is to fight, barricade, or do not allow yourself to be a victim. Knowing that you've had a plan in place and practice that plan is gonna help us. Like Bryce and Spencer mentioned, we take these seriously because we don't want people to panic and freeze in a, in a situation that could be highly stressful. Here's a list of five simple things that you can do as a student here at Samayago to help make this an even safer place. First off, wear your ID badge at all times. When students and staff wear their ID badges, it makes it easier to identify who is supposed to be here and who is not. The second one, Report to a trusted adult any and all suspicious activity, rumors, and social media posts. The third one, do not spread rumors or social media posts. The fourth one, do not joke about taking violent actions or making threats. You will be investigated. And the final, take all drills seriously and know your options of run, hide, and fight. The last thing I want to talk about today, Santiago, is the group effort it takes to make sure and ensure our safety here at Santiago. Starting with our students and our teachers, administrators, our security staff, and our um, important relationship with Corona Police Department and our very own John Lopez here on campus. This is a great place to, to live in South Corona. It's a great place to go to school at Santiago. And we appreciate you taking this today very seriously and helping make this the home of scholars, achievers, and champions. Thanks. <laughs>